Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and today I will quickly show you how you can get rid of this error. So if you are trying to access your website over this HTTPS, your Chrome will Chrome or any other browser will show you this warning that it is not secure. Your connection is not private and this can uh, uh, this can prevent uh, visitors from accessing your website. Your customers will not be able to access your website and uh, showing this error is a major problem. So I will quickly show you how you can install a SSL certificate and get rid of this error. So let's go back to the GoDaddy dashboard. And if you uh, ask the GoDaddy customer support, they will uh, offer you a paid solution. And today I will teach you how you can get the SSL certificate com for completely free. So go to the uh, GoDaddy dashboard and click on the cPanel admin button. This will take you to the cPanel account. And now what you have to do is go to this website sslforfree.com you can find the updated information and all the links in the description so please make sure to check the description before you do anything so now what you what we need a certificate is for a lot of domains all these domains so what i will uh, what we will do is generate a wildcard wildcard certificate um, create star dot uh, your domain name like for me it's bonjour dot website and then click on create free SSL certificate and then it will ask you to sign up just enter your email and um, email and password it's completely free so you don't have to pay anything okay so once you sign up it will show you this options in unselected and it will show you uh, for this domains and um, then click on next step and then it will show you this option for 90 day certificate then click on again next step and again here click on next step and then select the free option and then click on next okay. so it it will show you that your certificate has been created and is ready for domain verification so there it will show you multiple ways to uh, verify your domain so what you can do is um, I will select this method HTTP file upload and this will show you uh, this download the your file um, download this file and now let's go back to the cPanel scroll up and from here go open the home tab on a open the home page in a new tab and from here go to file manager And then go to the public HTML directory and what you have to do is create a new folder you can see the folder name from here upload the authorized authorization file to this folder so before you do that make sure that um, go to settings and from here take this option show hidden files then click on save and you can see all the hidden files also so now let's create a uh, this folder dot well dot, uh, dot slash known so let's um, click this button plus folder and then paste the directory name here then click on create new folder and you will see the newly created folder just double click to enter it and then here we have to create another folder named pki validation just copy the exact name from here and then again go to the plus folder button paste the directory name remove the slash and then click on create new folder and then double click to enter it now upload this file authentication file we just downloaded here so to do so click on upload and from here just drag and drop the file you just download it and once the upload is complete click on go back and okay, so this is the we have successfully uploaded the file and now let's go back to this uh, page um, let's see if we can access that file here 
click on this link and uh, make sure that you are able to see this text here then again go back to the verify domain page and then click on next step and it will show you congratulations your SSL certificate is on route however you need to verify ownership before please follow the next steps so then click on verify domain okay so you will see this option to download certificate just download it so now what you have to do is just open this zip file and here you will see this three files ca bundle certificate and private key so now let's go back to our c panel and then go to ssl tls and um, from here again go to first let's upload the private key and here you will see this option to upload the key file so click on choose file and then go to the download folder and then from here this is the key file private key click on upload it and then click on upload okay let's upload the crt file okay from here you will see this option install certificate click on it and just scroll down and then click on install certificate okay you have successfully updated the SSL website the SSL website is now active and then click on OK so now let's try to access our website get our website if we can access it over the HTTPS so as you can see here we can access our website over this uh, secure connection you can see the certificate here it has been issued by zero SSL and from today 19 May 22 for 90 days so I hope you found this tutorial helpful if you have any questions doubts or if there is any updated information I will post it in the description and comments so please make sure to check that if you have any queries or question please post in the comments and I will help you